This is the Il Monaghello Visconti Brambia Tarot. This is a very early deck, possibly predates even uh, Visconti uh, di Madrone. Uh, around 1463 is when they believe this deck was painted, hand-painted. All the cards are hand-painted. It's only 48 cards because that's all that survived of the original deck. So in this rendition by Il Manigello, he's done a very good job on uh, reproducing these cards. And uh, they are quite large. This is a standard tarot card here. And as you can see, the card is substantially larger than a conventional tarot card. Um, it comes in a very nice box. This is a very solid cardboard box, but it feels like a piece of wood in my hand. Uh, it has a little lip here that goes inside the box. There's the inside of the box. And here is the back. And here is the end of the box. This is a limited production. 1,200 uh, decks were produced in 2021. This is number 334 of the 1,200. And uh, comes with this nice numbered card here. Also comes with a book, which isn't necessarily a guidebook. It does touch into the deck a little bit, describes the deck a little bit. But it also talks about art in uh, not only Italy, but Europe in the Renaissance period. So it gets into a lot of interesting information uh, about art during the Renaissance and how it evolved and spread and so forth. So it's an interesting read. Uh, anyways, well, let's get into the cards. Here's the back of the cards. And they, there's some handwriting here, you'll notice. This is on all the cards. I believe it's the same thing. And so I took one card and they just reproduced the backs for all of them. And you can see this was painted at one time, probably red, and it's faded and worn off on the original deck. So, well, let's get into it. There are only two triumphs, or two trumps, that survived uh, from the majors. And this is the emperor. This is one of the two that have survived. A lot of gold was used, and silver is actual metal now, not just uh, coloring. This is actual metal that was applied, not to the rendition, but to the original cards. Uh, had had gold uh, foil, you know, on the backgrounds and other parts of the card. Uh, the other uh, major triumph here is the wheel. So the wheels, the other of the majors that have survived, but nothing else. And there are some face cards that survived, but not that many. So it's a 48 card deck and you have to appreciate the charm of the deck though. Um, this is the Ace of Wands or Batons as they would say back in the day. We have the Ace of Batons. It's silver. Silver was utilized on the original deck for all the pips. All the pips had silver. Um, I think it still looks like, almost looks like an original card, the way uh, Menegello produced this. Very beautiful. This is the Two of Batons. The Three. The four batons. The five. The six. The seven. The eight, the nine of batons, the 
in the 10. In our courts, we have a knight. And we have a queen. and the King of Badons. <clears throat> okay, Cups, this is our Ace. Gorgeous card. Each card was hand-painted, so no two cards are exactly alike. The two... The Three of Cups. <clears throat> and the Four. And the Five of Cups. <clears throat> the Six. The seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten. Okay, we have a Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Love that horse head. Very cool. And we have a King of Cups. Hey, coins. This is our ace. The two. The three. Now, the four of coins has been lost through time. So it goes from uh, uh, three to five. Five of coins. The four is missing. The six. The seven. The Eight of Coins. <clears throat> the Nine. And the Ten of Coins. At the time, this was all real gold leaf here that was applied to the card. That's not gold paint. That's actual gold leaf, which I find interesting. Okay, we have the uh, Knight of Coins. And 
and the King of Coins. Hey, swords. <laughs> Have the ace. Sorry, the two. The three. The four. The five. The six of swords. The seven. The eight. The nine. And the ten of swords. And none of the courts for the swords have survived. So that's the whole uh, 48 card deck. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I collect Visconti decks. So uh, I added this to my collection. It is unfortunately missing a lot of cards, but uh, I'm just primary collector. So uh, it doesn't bother me that I can't read with them or whatever. But uh, anyways, well, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've helped you out if you're considering the deck. And thanks so much for watching.